Losing Mary Kathleen in a car wreck drove him to self-destruct. Welcome to the Holly Fake Entertainment Channel tonight. The guilt-ridden Elvis Presley was killed by his secret lover Mary Kathleen Self, and his cause of death was a broken heart. That's the tragic conclusion of a blockbuster Globe investigation on the 44th anniversary of Presley's August 16, 1977 death, which reveals the king of rock and roll was driven to self-destructive drugs after losing the brunette beauty in a doomed love affair. Five years before his death, Elvis was having a secret, steamy romance with the 20-year-old dancer when Mary Kathleen, known as Kathy, tragically died in a Memphis car crash while rushing to meet him on July 18, 1972. Elvis loved Kathy like no other, says a Graceland insider. After she died, he was never the same. He believed they were meant to be together. The young beauty met the music icon by chance and changed his life forever. Kathy would gather with the other Gaga gals outside Elvis's Memphis mansion just to catch a glimpse of the blue suede shoes rocker. His pal George Klein spotted her photo in an ad for a local saloon, the Whirl Away Club, and immediately thought she was Elvis's type. Kathy resembled Elvis's recently separated wife Priscilla, according to her brother Steve. Kathy had moved out of her parents' home and worked as a dancer and a singer at the club, reveals the Graceland Insider. Elvis's best friend George showed up one night and told her how pretty she was and hooked her up with Presley. For a while, Kathy and Elvis were inseparable. They dated secretly for four months. Other women would come and go, but he always went back to Kathy. He thought she was special. Kathy hid her romance with her married star from her mom, Peggy Self Cannon, and became part of his Memphis Mafia until June 30, 1972, when she and Elvis were photographed riding around at the corner of South Parkway and Elvis Presley Boulevard. The picture ran in the Memphis newspaper. A neighbor showed the photo to Kathy's mother, who recalled reprimanding her daughter for dating a married man. Sources say Kathy was racing to meet Elvis in the after midnight dark when she lost control of her car and plowed into three concrete pillars at the entrance of Interstate Highway 240 and Interstate 55. Elvis immediately felt responsible and was devastated, says the insider. A week later, on July 26, the shattered rocker officially filed for separation from Priscilla. Elvis would see other women, but he was a broken man who plunged headlong into depression and drug addiction, says the insider. Medical examiner Jerry Francisco officially ruled Elvis died of heart disease and prescription drugs found in his blood were not a contributing factor after he was found dead on the floor of a Graceland bathroom with his pants down. But at the time, and in the decades since, Francisco's findings have been labeled a whitewash and a cover-up. A later toxicology report revealed that Elvis's blood contained very high levels of opiates, Dilaudid, Percodan, Demerol, and Codeine, as well as Quaaludes. Family members believe the depressed singer, eaten by guilt over Kathy's death, tried to ease his pain by swallowing huge amounts of prescription drugs in the years after the tragedy. In recently discovered notes to his friend and road manager, the late Joe Esposito, Elvis admitted, I'm sick and tired of my life. I need a long rest. Elvis's evangelist stepbrother Rick Stanley believes that the leg end had lost the will to live. Elvis loved Kathy deeply, says the insider. When she died, he was crushed. He was never the same. He would visit her grave regularly at Memorial Park Cemetery and cry like a baby. Elvis always blamed himself for her death, and it ate at him until the day he died, too. How do you see the news in this video? Let us know what you think, and we can discuss. If you find the video good, please don't regret it. Give us one like and share it with your friends. We will constantly update the latest news in the next videos. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Thank you.